Hi guys, welcome back to Blackberry Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cup thing in Blender. So, first thing I'm going to do is make a new file, general, and I am going to delete the cube, of course, and add in another cube. And now I'm going to scale it on the Z axis, like that. And I'm going to add in a plane. I'm going to scale it up a bit so that when we press zero to go into the camera view, it looks um, that the plane won't be so small that you can't see the whole thing. Okay, so next I am going to select the cube, move it up. And now I'm going to press shift tilde key like this, and I'm going to scale up the plane a bit more, and then I'm going to press shift tilde key and move my mouse down actually a little bit more, just like that. Alright, so next I'm going to model this, I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode, press 3, select this top face. Press E to extrude, press S to scale it in, press E to extrude it down on the Z axis, and then press GZ, and we want it up a bit, right like that I guess, is good. Now what I want to do, go to add modifier, subdivision surface, and this is pretty round, the other one that we had wasn't as round. Um, I'm going to keep the render, I mean not the render, uh, the subdivision surface viewport to about 4. And tab into edit mode, select all these. Actually I'm just going to select them, um, select all the other faces. And then press I and point O three, And we want it to uh, be point O three or some number that you can remember for these ones, 0.03, enter. And now if you want, um, you can select this bottom face right here and press I, 0.03, enter. And I kind of like these corners being rounded, but if you don't like that, you can select all these top ones, press I, and 0.03. So I'm just going to undo that. And I'm going to increase the viewport to like 6 or so. Click apply. And now if I press 0, we want this to be glass. So right now it's not very glassy. So I'm going to go to this rendered shading. Um, I'm going to select this. Go to material properties, add a new material. Um, actually, instead of changing the color, we're going to go um, and change it to glass. And right now, nothing is happening because we are in EV, and EV is bad. We're going to switch over to cycles. And now, that is looking really nice. But actually, if you did want to do it in EV, which I would not recommend at all ever. Um, you can turn on, I think it's screen space reflections, and then turn on refraction. Um, also, I think you have to do something in here in the material properties. You can change it to alpha hashed, or maybe, um, ah, turn on screen space refraction in here, and then increase the refraction depth, maybe. But yeah, um, that's basically how to do it in Eevee. Um, and actually if I change the background on this, you'll see that it's actually being like refracted around in here. And it wouldn't do that if it was just a plain material and not glass. But uh, rendering and cycles looks 
Looks like a thousand times better. So, I'm just gonna stick with running in cycles. Um, but also you'll notice that this would kind of be hard to drink out of. So I'm going to undo like literally everything I just did. Check on my live stream. Okay. Um. Well, yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, you'd want to select this bottom face, um, before you had applied the subdivision surface, and then just um press I to invert it. You'd have wanted to do that before you applied the subdivision surface. Um, but anyway that's it for this tutorial. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!